USAID Education Management Project, a three-year activity aimed at better education management capacity and improved financial and administrative policies in the education sector of Georgia. In 2003, Georgia began implementing ambitious, wide-scale reforms designed to rapidly transform its general and higher education systems. The government has substantially increased the autonomy of schools and universities and its education expenditures have grown from less than 1% of gross domestic products in 2003 to 23 in 2012. Per student payment schemes are now used in all sectors of the education system, as well as accreditation. School-based management is a core of the rapidly implemented decentralization reform, leading to both successes and challenges in managing schools. Taken together, these reforms create growth of innovative opportunities for Georgia's educational system. However, the country needs skilled administrators, managers and teachers to implement them effectively. With two ministers in the office, former minister Nika Guaramia and current minister Dimitri Shashkin, the project collaborated with a variety of actors. Uh, this was a very exciting event for USAID, for the U.S. government. It marks an important milestone in this particular project, the Education Management Project, as we partner with the uh, government of Georgia uh, and have been for a number of years uh, in a number of different sectors affecting education, which is, of course, one of the most important priorities for, for Georgian parents and the Georgian population. Looking forward to economic growth with an educated and informed society, you need things like uh, an accurate tool, the CMIS, to, to build a the data and to report on the, the progress of students and the quality of teachers. Uh, we're quite proud of the accomplishment last year working with the government to develop a new funding formula for schools that uh, ensures that the, the quality of education is more equalized among the schools across Georgia so that those in less uh, advantaged locations benefit from the, the very important education. These changes are reflected in decrees that are signed in 2010 and 2011 by the Prime Minister Nika Gilauri. Although the active work had been carried out since 2005 to secure the sufficient school funds, the shortcomings were evident. 1,400 schools out of 2,100 were struggling with funding deficit as the funds were not sufficient to even cover teacher salaries, not to mention other school needs. Village Akaurta School, that is located in Bolnisi region, used to request additional funding almost every month. The ministry was responsive, but since review of budget requests took time, payments were always late. Regarding the school funding formula, as it appeared our school did not ask for any additional funding, while with the previous funding, school was not even cover salary expenditures for teachers. Therefore, we used to send the relevant papers to the resource center. Then those documents were sent to the Ministry of Education and unfortunately we received salaries for teachers with a huge delay. At an average, on a monthly basis, the Ministry was receiving requests for additional so-called deficit funding from some 1,400 schools and about 15 to 20 staff members worked on a very tight schedule over half a month to process these requests. In fact, this was putting all other work of the ministry's economic department on hold. But now, creation of the universal school funding formula gave us the opportunity to almost completely resolve the issue of deficit schools and decrease their number to the minimum. I think that USAID Education Management Project was the most successful projects funded by donor organizations within past few years in the education system. Until 2011, the school voucher was calculated as follows. There was a special coefficient according to the number of students, and the number of vouchers was multiplied and the relevant funds were received. Now it is according to the number of students and takes into account national curriculum requirements. And also for the students from 1st to 8th grade, they have the different voucher. And also we provide the basic funds and additional funds to the sectoral and non-Georgian schools. Education Management Project closely collaborated with the Ministry to design Education Management Information System to provide accurate and verifiable data for informed decision-making. For this initiative, on May 11, 
2010 Minister of Education and Science, Dmitry Shashkin and the Mission Director of USAID Jonathan M. Conley signed a Memorandum of Understanding. While EMP's role was to lead the software development, provide technical direction and training for students, information systems pilot to enable the MES, make data-driven and database decisions. The Ministry of Education and Science agreed to ensure the deployment, national expansion and maintenance of education management information system modules at the central, municipal and local levels. This group has been working at the Ministry of Education and Science since 2010. We have had very good collaboration with the EMP. We have implemented several projects jointly and still run some of them at the current stage. We have developed e-catalog of the schools for registration of the first grade children. Currently we are working with the EMP on the geographical information system. We have initiated its development this month with the intention to complete in within a year. Information system of the school, so-called e-school, has been developed through the assistance of the EMP. Here we already have all educational entities, I mean the public schools. This system will also help to the students, parents and teachers, to the school principals and to the ministry of course to conduct the general monitoring and collect the information on any topic. In any policy-making context, officials can make lots of different decisions and it's really important that they have data that they can use to ground their decisions. Uh, when, pol when officials are making policy decisions, you're always going to have groups, camps that are uh, for one option or a different option. And when policymakers have access to data, they can use that data to identify the consequences of the different options that different parties are advocating. And they can make sure that they select the one that's going to have the greatest impact to solve the problem that they're facing. EMP's another objective was to assist in developing qualified education workforce skills. Here the project closely collaborated with the Teachers Professional Development Center to work with the practitioners and the school principals. It also helped to design the school principal standards which identifies the knowledge, skills, professional values and other commitments of the school principals. From 2010 and through April 2012, EMP designed a customized 24-hour training course in school financial management which was delivered to all school principals from public schools in Georgia. The other course, Effective School Leadership, was tailored to the principal standards and piloted in two trainings to 150 principals. All training materials are handed over to Teachers Professional Development Center for further application to assist in developing qualified education workforce skills. EMP also helped to design and launch a Western Masters in Education Administration at one of the leading Georgian institutions of higher education, Ilya State University with the technical assistance provided by the University of California, Los Angeles. In 2010, EMP initiated to involve the representatives of the regional universities in the SET program. This project has several factors for which it is very important. Firstly, it is the first attempt, yes, the first one. If I do not make a mistake, when the Western experience in the education field has been introduced in a systematic manner and which is very successful. Another important aspect of the EMP is the context of the country itself. Before, we had no people in the country to say that they were the professionals of the education management. And now we can say that we have people in Georgia, and not very few, who know how to conduct the management of the education system. That is not only from the very top, but at the school level. In cooperation of the University of California, Los Angeles, Education Management Project and Ilya State University professors, a Western Masters have been designed for each year. 900-page literature was translated for the curriculum. Nine books on education administration were selected, translated and published. In 2009-11, at least 223 students had registered
requested for this program and 145 were received. Among them, 56 students got the state funds and up to 40 students got the scholarship from the Education Management Project. We um, decided, based on what UCLA had done with Action Research, that it would be a good idea First, because it's a different way of doing research. Um, it still produces, it still involves a lot of literature search and a lot of um, statistical study and analysis and, and results in a thesis, but it, it gets the students out into the community. They go into a school or an institution, um, uncover a challenge, and then design an intervention to address that challenge and then write all that up. Misha Tepnadze is the MED in Education Administration graduate. The theoretical knowledge and skills gained from the program he uses today in his job. The skills gained in the course of the program I have effectively applied to the teaching process. And today one of the innovations or needs in the staff at school are managed on the basis of research activities. We conduct research for each need and we have designed a special form introduced already by me, with the knowledge and skills that I gained from this program. Teachers exchange the information, certain skills and they identify through the research problems, which need the actions, which will be reflected in the successful operation of the school. Since 2009, over three years education management project strived to strengthen regulatory and policy environment and developed education workforce skills. Much was done, but did it have an impact on better education in Georgia? Absolutely yes. Although the project worked at the policy reform level, it does have immediate impacts on education quality at school level. Schools now receive funding based on their size and based on their needs. They can plan and manage their budgets and therefore they can spend more on improved education at their schools. School principals have clear job expectations which are in compliance with the school principal standards. They are regularly evaluated and now they have access to customized professional development opportunities. Each year we will have more and more young professionals with skills to manage educational ed institutions. And the central ministry now has the instrument to collect and verify data and take data-driven decisions. Is this sufficient? Of course no. There is so much to do in education administration, but this is only because education reform is a continuous process.